when you first open the Disruption VFX Suite, you want to take your video or sequence and just drag and drop it into the placeholder. So now we're going to go back into our main suite here. Now, I, I do want to mention that once you install your Disruption presets, you can normally you can access your presets right here in your preset panel. However, uh, you don't want to drag and drop your presets as you might normally with most effects, uh, because what it's going to do is create a duplicate control panel and the functions are not going to work. So to apply a preset, you want to highlight your control panel, go up top to animation and hit the apply animation preset. You're going to go into your disruption presets and select whatever preset you choose and hit open. And that's how you're going to apply your disruption presets. All right, so let's take a look at the suite. Starting at the top, we have our static noise controls, and these are going to create light interferences, such as uh, light static interference, static noise, and, and grains. Next is our scan disruption designs. Below that, you have our matrix damage designs. And then our havoc damage design. And this is just going to be kind of heavy, heavy digital damage. Now in the suite, I give you a five minute timeline default. If you need to uh, work in a smaller uh, timeline, you can just take your work bar area here and space it out to your liking. However, if you need to go over the five minute mark, uh, I did want to mention that you could go to aescripts.com and there's going to be an After Effects script called Comp Setter. So if you download Comp Setter and install it into your script panel for After Effects, once you install the script, you can just access the script file for Comp Setter and just change the, uh, the frame duration to whatever you, whatever you need. Okay, so let's go back to the panel. Moving on, we have our grid section, and this is gonna have uh, a few different effects here, such as uh, a grid effect, and we can change the color here. And then moving down, we have our virtual world effect, our, which is going to give a kind of a rotoscope type of effect. And then we have our uh, pixel world, thermal imaging, simulation break, and halftone disruption. And just play around with these effects. Next, we have our digital glitch designer. And these are going to be all different types of options for you to create digital damage glitches to your footage. And then down below, we have more individual controls, such as a pixel glitch, pixel size, digital breaks, digital blocks, just a variety of options to create digital glitch effects. Moving on, we have our alien disruption designer. Next, we have our VHS designer. And our top panel is going to have more individual controls, such as a hinge, fringe, um, flickers, our uh, color emboss here, and our color leaks. And then below that is the VHS design control panel. And that's going to give us um, VHS looks from minimal type of damage that you might get with VHS tape to uh, heavy damage. So again, just uh, toggle the threshold.
Moving on, we have our uh, chromatic abrasion. This is just gonna kind of give us a little bit of a color fringe. And just increase the threshold like so. And you can set each channel. Moving on to our channel disruption. And this is really going to disrupt each individual individual channel, our uh, red, green, blue channels. You want to increase the actual color channel split threshold at the more you're going to see those individual channels increase. Uh, next is our color disruption. So we could just change a color here. Moving on, we have our blur control. So we can just, uh, of course, put this out of focus here, or we can just randomize the uh, focal to go in and out by turning this on. Up top, we have our frame control, where we can increase the, uh, the frame to shake, the frequency, and then, of course, the frame full disruption. So you just want to play around with these and you can kind of just you know, shear the frame here. And below that, uh, we have this out of control category. And this is just really going to be chaotic style type of uh, frame shakes. Everything is just going to jump around. Now moving on, we have our camera depth of field. And you're really going to see the depth of field be used for some effects. For instance, if I go down here to our grunge frame styles, that can overlay onto our screen. Start to see some grunge come in. I'm going to go to number one now. Bump that up. So we have a lot of grunge going on. It's pretty flat. However, if I just check this depth of field on and then increase the uh, focal threshold, you can start to see the uh, more I bump up that focal threshold, the more out of focus that grunge is going to uh, become. And then finally, we have our disruption color styles here. So you have a uh, whole suite of color styles to choose from, and you can just toggle the threshold and increase, in this case, the uh, Cinema Crush disruption color style. So that's pretty much the overview of the Disruption VFX Suite control panel.